Ah, yes, the Rust Mainland. An amazing, luscious, and prosperous place filled to the brim with opportunity, PvP, loot, players. It really is just the place to be if you are looking for the top tier Rust gameplay we are all so used to. Only an idiot would build on a secluded island where nothing is near it or on it. Anyway, where did, uh, where did I build this week? Oh. Fuck. Well, thank you, kind of, past Ben. He's right. We do build on an island, and I've been wanting to do this video for ages, and I only managed just now to find the perfect island on the server that I play to do it on. So here's me building a lovely little solo island paradise. And this radio really does have, oh, it's got online raids, it's got raids, it's got counter raids, it's got counter counter raids. It's great. So please, if you enjoy, do leave a like, if not a dislike. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. And if you have a moment, please do leave a comment. It really does help out the channel. And so does leaving a like a lot more than you know. I appreciate it in advance. Thank you so much. Woo. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the solo series. And as I hope Pass Ben has described to you, well, we've got um, an interesting one today. I've been looking for, goodness me, this wipe 12 hours ago. C4 raids. Relax. As I was saying, I've been looking to do this video now for a little while. It's something that I've wanted to do for ages. And I've just not had the right seed, the right map generation for it. But if you take a little look up here and I remove this, Look at this little spit of land right there, with this bit around it. That is absolutely perfect. And if no one has built on that, or if they have, I might even try and build up and raid them and take it for myself. I'm going to build there. I'm going to build there, and then I'm going to use the abandoned military base to get stuff and the underwater labs. And it is going to be brilliant. We are building on a solo island today, ladies and gents. So strap in, grab yourselves a snack, pull your loved ones, because this is going to be a journey. Outpost. Outpost is not too far away. I like this area. I really do. I'm just hoping no one's built on it. There's no way. Look at it. It's tiny. <clears throat> There's no way someone's built on that. Don't be silly, Billy. It's important to pick everything up that I see because I'm going to need it all. Oh! Here we are. It's right there. It's right in front. I don't think anyone's built there. I believe it is empty. And that, you know what that means? Are we claiming that? That's mine. Well, that was close. This is what sucks about the desert. It's the only like bad thing about this, this, this island here is it will suck to get cloth. I can go to the mainland for that though, of course. But there it is. You can see it. You can see the little island. Look how cute that is, dude. It's the smallest island ever. That's where I'm going to live. Right there. And I'm going to need a boat. Otherwise, it's just going to suck, like, to do. Right, I'm going to go get the base down. I've been farming wood for as long as I can remember. And I only have 4K to my name. Not even. But I have, I, you know, I have built a few things, like a couple doors and TC. So i got a fair bit. We're going to go lay the base down, and I still haven't, whilst I'm running over, decided what I'm actually going to build. I mean, it is the world's smallest island. Is that cool for the world's smallest base? Perhaps. I might start with that and uh, go from there, because I do love that base. I mean, it's only fitting, isn't it, really? And I, I can, like, modify the base to make it a bit bigger. could be like this so here's front door and then you come in uh, and this will be like furnaces and all that good stuff so we'll, we'll lay the, the, the interior out and then the rest I can do when I can manage to do it Does that makes sense this way I can have the base like how I want it and at the same time save a bunch of space 
you know? So that's going to be like that. That's where TC is going to be. This is going to be furnaces. This is going to be like storage space and uh, workbenches. And then down here will be more storage space. Let's hope I have enough wood. I have a sneaky suspicion. I will not. Okay, so... You see... Whammy! Like this. Boom. And then at least... We can put our stuff away for now. I mean, I'm going to have to put this door like this, but, you know, can't win them all. Maybe I can put a little box down. No, I can't even put a bag down. Oh my gosh. What a sorry state. Okay, that's fine. And then obviously all of this will be honeycomb. So it's a little, it's a little riff on the, uh, the smallest base in the world. Probably could have placed it a bit more s actually no I've done quite well placing it quite central on the base but basically this is gonna end up being like a solo paradise but for now we're gonna work on just getting it into a functioning state the good news is the server is pretty much full so that means so that means everything should be respawning pretty quick so by everything I mean like the oh, I should have planted these really so all the trees on this island should be uh, should be respawning pretty quick and there is a lot of driftwood they're, they're only 200 a piece but Every little helps, you know. Oh, look at this little guy. Hey, buddy. Don't worry, I'm just going to hack you to death. <laughs> Yo, there's a horse. I wondered what this was. Come on, horse. Oh, yeah. Give me that horse. Hello, horsey. How you going, mate? We love horses. Yes, we do. We love you, horsey. And he's full health. Oh wow, what a treat. What a lovely, lovely treat. Alright, I think we are actually locked in, which is brilliant. <clears throat> I'm actually going to plant all these seeds real quick. Sweet, loads of food. And we got a horse. Not much else, but I mean, we're getting there. Alright, we'll start the storage down here. Put the food away. Put that away and that and that. I need to go and get myself, um, first of all, some more tools. And second of all, uh, cloth somehow. I don't know how I'm going to get cloth, but we'll figure it out. Let's go. That's my cue to go. <clears throat> I'm getting out of here and I'm coming back to get more cloth. time I can do a bit of work on the base so that'll be garage doors all the way around and this will be jump up get a nice door on I'm sure I had a spare door what did I do with that there it is okay we don't need that now so nice real nice okay uh, next step is to put the furnace other furnace in the floor and then I need to get a bunch more stone to like get the honeycomb up 
And then I guess I take to the seas and try to um, just farm, just farm the seas really. And then we'll uh, we'll watch the sunset. <laughs> I'm kidding. We won't do that. We'll just AFK in base until the morning because uh, night time is way too dark to do anything in this game. Cheers, face punch. Nice. All right, we have the door on. Uh, I need to get some lighting in here, like ASAP. The only thing is, I, <laughs> I don't really have the cloth to be uh, throwing around 25 cloth for a for a lantern. So it's probably just going to have to be a campfire for now, which is fine because I do need to cook up a bunch of uh, have a bunch of meat here. So. starting to feel like a home ladies and gentlemen it's starting to feel like a home I'm not gonna be able to recycle I'm gonna have a load of comps but it's gonna take a while for me to get like work benches you know three red barrels lucky me yeah this above the ground farming is going pretty slow so I'm gonna grab some scuba kit and we're going underwater and yeah good where am I going to place the tier 1? Probably just here, thinking about it. Nice. It's level 1. So I can use that to power my lighting system. I just don't have too many metal frags to like be playing around with at the minute. Yes, these, these are the ones we want. These big ones. Oh, shit. That might be a shark. A chainsaw, damn, that's pretty good. Wow, for like, for like 10 minutes? That's a really good haul. I'm actually very impressed by that. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Like, this, it's actually viable to live out here. Like, you won't get tier 3 components, like rifle bodies. Or tier 2 components, whatever. Whatever, but, um... I mean, very viable. Very viable. I call as well. 214 scrap already. That's crazy. And then we got a spare tank as well. And we got the chainsaw. And more importantly, actually, we got this large battery, which is kind of incredible. Oh. I'm also going to put this down. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet. Because I would like as much, like, storage space as possible. But I think that's fine. Like, I'm going to have room for pretty much everything in here. And plus, it's going to go up a floor. So once it goes up a floor, I'll probably move it up there, thinking about it. But yeah, fairly pleased with the way this is going. I thought this was going to be much harder to get, like, components and everything. But no. Oh, beautiful. That is exactly what we were looking for. All right, if you're just joining us somehow, and somehow, like, I don't know, halfway through the video, <laughs> you're just joining us, then we are going to go do cargo. Or at least we're going to try. Well, we're going to see if there's scientists on it first. I mean, hell, I'm even going to get on if there isn't if there is scientists. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, that's classic. Fuck. <laughs> He's just right there waiting for me, dude. Holy. I need to get a boat and see if I can salvage my crap. There's nobody. Oh, they didn't loot any of it. Brilliant. We love to see that. Right, now we have the daunting test of finding, uh, finding the revolver. There's no way, right? There's no way I find this. All right. I've spent some time down here. I don't think I'm going to be finding that. Honestly, that's fine. I don't mind. We got the important thing, which was the bullets. That is a body bag. Must be someone that they killed trying to get onto cargo, maybe? Oh, it is. Got ourselves another revolver as we died. I'm just crafting some gunpowder, and what I'm also going to do is craft my... So that'll be ready for the morning. I'm going to take this out and farm. And hopefully I'm also going to get 
like a few animals to kill. I can start selling some things. So I'm going to sell sewing kits, I reckon. I'm going to sell, obviously, the crude oil. I'll probably sell some rope as well. Blaze of just the blacksmith. Shit. Well, I'm dead. Need to get back to base and make some ladders, I think. The server went down, but I'm going to run straight home and build myself a couple ladders and try and jump on their base. Hopefully they have terrible PCs and it takes them ages to load in. Friendly bro? No. Yeah, man. Hello! Friendly! Yeah! <laughs> they seem nice. Hopefully they are actually friendly. We'll see. Not what I was hoping for, if I'm honest. I mean, they kind of know what they're doing. They're honeycombing. So good for them. Huh. That was a bit weird. Because, like, he didn't see me come up here, as far as I'm aware. And I didn't make any noise either. Weird. Oh well. I'm gonna come back and try and soft side this wall here. You living over here. Oh it yeah. Is. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, you too. We live right. We live right, right here. Over here. Oh, nice. Okay, I thought so. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. I'm guessing your base is the guy, the one over in the water. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Little Tally Island base. Yeah. Like, I don't know why, but when I talk in game at the minute and I record it, my mic goes really strange and like crackly. So I managed to get a trade with these guys for a jackhammer for my chainsaw that I found, which is Brill. And here's an example of the crackly. Be sure to bring you some. Should I find any? Thank you. I appreciate that. Anyone there is a fix for that, please do let me know down in the comments. But these guys are really lovely. And right now we are allies and they are helping me try to eco raid this. <laughs> They're so cool. I love them. They're so cool. Nice. I'm gonna see if I can. I can do this. this sh I should be able to. Oh! Where the fuck did he come from? He came out the door. Shit. Oh man, I did not hear the door open. I can't say this is much going to plan at the moment, unfortunately. I can't believe I just did not hear that door open, that's crazy. I have my volume on, ah, I have my volume on full, and I'm still not hearing that? Over the jackhammer noise? I mean, I guess, but wow. What's in there, man? Really weird. I want to get in there, though. That's what I know.
No, he's in the way, dude. What? What the f- That's a rip. I'm gonna call that there for <laughs> messing with them. Wouldn't mind online raiding those guys though, for sure. Okay, uh, that kind of sucks. be a loot room and I absolutely need um, tier 2 so I can start making garage doors that is essential but for now let's start selling stuff we do not want and then we'll go CCTV and we'll see what we can get really all we need is scrap right now oh of course I do need some high call I'm hoping I can get that from under the sea. Hold the fucking everything. I'm coming and I'm raiding these guys. I'm getting home. I'm crafting a revolver. I'm going to try and craft a DB. I actually got this uh, flamethrower from my lovely ally friends. They gave it to me for free, which was really nice. But yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take a satchel. Uh, I'm probably going to take... Nah, that'll do for now, I reckon. Like, what if it's two wood doors? I'll take one satchel for... Uh, just in case we get to TC. A metal door. I'm pretty sure this one goes upstairs, but I might as well just check. <clears throat> yep, that's a jump up. Alright, I'm coming back with satchels. Yes. This is good. Keep going. Yep. Holy fucking shit. Hello. The fuck is that TC, man? God damn! What a freaking raid, boys. 
Holy loot. Gaddy! Gaddy! I don't know what his placement is for all this, but. Poor dude was AFK. Sorry, buddy. I really thought he was here. Like, because he ran. He ran in when I, when I killed him. So. Not killed him. I, I shot at him. But, yeah. Sorry, dude. Sheesh. That is so much stuff, dude. Holy sulfur. How much freaking sulfur, dude? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight K sulfur, two hundred uh, scrap, heaps of me heaps of metal frags, a bunch of uh, of of high coal, which I really need. I need to relax for a minute, and I need to put a uh, double door on the roof. Where's all the components here? Oh wow, that's gorgeous! Look all that animal fat. All right, we have a mission, and I think I. Didn't say, but I actually joined the team with these guys, so we didn't like accidentally kill each other. But they've just messaged me in chat saying they are in the underwater labs and they are 2v2ing some guys. There's one left and they want they wouldn't mind a little bit of help. So I'm gonna shoot over there with my diving kit if I could bloody find it and uh, see if I can help them. I must help my allies. <laughs> I'm coming, boys. Ain't no saga I'm gonna stop you from getting out of there alive. He's killed one, he says, and there's one left. Let me up, maybe? Whew. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Hey, Becca, word up to your skin. Let's take this guy out. This is legit so awesome. It's moments like this, by the way, why I freaking love Rust. Like, I've made an alliance with these guys, and this honestly feels like a side mission in, like, an old Skyrim or Fallout game. Like, I've come down under the water to help them clear it out. It's so cool. I love Rust. Fish swimming at me. I need the loot. <laughs> Don't leave me. I need the loot. Oh. Alright, it actually looks like the other guy is either just hiding somewhere we can't find him, or he's left. So, we're gonna do a farm and then, uh, we're leaving. Thank you for the services, my friend. That was so freaking dope. Like I said, just felt like a side mission, but those guys are cool too. Okay, so the side went down for some scheduled maintenance. I am going to try my best to get the base ready for the incoming whirlwind of loot that we have on the way. <laughs> uh, none of those guys are on. I won't be able to get to the back box, but fuck it. Who needs it? Nice. Remind me to refill my fuel tank, my air tank, once I get to this base. Let's grab what we can. Okay, I'm gonna stop replying to them for a minute because I need to let me in the base! I need to, uh, well, first of all, get this going. Get all of these cooking. We are gonna have to start only having upkeep in here because this is, this is gonna get a little nuts. Okay, not as many metal frags as I thought, but. We got a bunch of stuff that we needed anyway, and I can get a tier 2 up now, which is really nice. And I can start can start making garage doors. I'm just going to take a break and say, these guys, if you're watching, wow, this is so, this is so refreshing to like meet a group that didn't kill on site, that said friendly to me first. It's so refreshing. As a solo player, this is honestly lovely. And I know this kind of goes against the whole solo player thing. But alliances, I think, are every now and then are a great thing. Because it helps me do what I want to do. It helps me live. like, And it's, it's just a lovely experience, it really is. So thank you very much to these guys for being so accommodating to me. Like, they could have just raided me and wiped me off 
the island, but they didn't. They welcomed me. And that is honestly so nice as a solo, I cannot explain. So thank you. And anyone else out there is in a group and, and does that as well, thank you. And even if you don't do that, maybe try and do it next time. It may not, like, affect you in any way, but honestly, the person that you're doing it for, I can tell you for an assurance, if they're solo, <coughs> anyway, or even if they're a group, they will appreciate it so much more than you realise. So, thank you to everyone. I know for a fact there's two here, so I'm going to dip real quick, uh, bank this, and then come back, see if I can kill the second one. I guess he, I mean he was the last one, but I guess he never came back? What? So that means my body's unlooted, right? Yeah, there's my custom. Big ass, that's the skin, that's Becca's skin, that is saving my custom. Oh, that was loaded. I'm gonna get the, um, the base up and running with electricity, hopefully. I'm gonna get some, um, probably two, uh, maybe, uh, I'm only gonna be able to get three, but I'll, I'll try and get three solar panels on the roof. This is feeling very, very homely now. I love it. I'm gonna put all this down here. Okay, we back. And we have all of our juice. Oh, shit, I left the lights on, huh? Good thing that it doesn't take as much charge as it expends. It is the morning time. 
I'm a little late getting on today as I was out last night. Oh, we made some money, baby. I don't really know what sold. Half of the crude oil seems to have sold. The chainsaw sold. And um, whatever else I had in here. So we've made a bit. That's nice. <coughs> That's very nice. We can get that put away. I think there's cloth living under here. If it isn't, it is now. Well, let's uh, clear up the... Once again, I, I'm loving this base and I'm falling in love with it. I love this design. It's so, like, compact. It's it's no nonsense. And it's it's pretty strong. Like, I mean... Well, for, for a solo base, it's pretty strong anyway. Alright, sweet. They're all on. Now I'm going to just quickly go take stock of what is outside. I need some low grade. And it was at this point something very sad happened. I'd wandered over on the island and one of the group had got on and told me that they had got off and their base had just started decaying. They'd saved a bunch of loot in their boat base and they were very kind as to give me a bunch of it and a tier 3 which really helped me. And a few of them got on and we decided to just play together and that's where this takes a turn for crazy. As soon as we got on and started playing, I mean I don't want to spoil it but <laughs> Instantly, there's raids, there's counter raids, there's counter counter raids, there's MLRS going off everywhere. Oh, I'm just gonna let this play. I hope you enjoy it. Damn, this got crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go quick counter that. You wanna come? Grab a gun or something? Well, that was awful timing. He says we're in. You just jump in? Fuck yeah, I just yolded. I had 14 bullets left. I was like, fuck <laughs> it, this guy's dying. Oh, he didn't even here. touch me once. Bro, this is straight garbage. Who spends two C4 on this? Right above us, right above us. Huge DB slug. Oh, what the f- he's loaded! Look at this body! There's so many MLRS. Is it? Holy oh moly! <laughs> Fuck, we're getting it. Headshot, headshot. Nice, nice. Let's push this guy. Hit him once. Bro, you're getting killed by a pig. You hate to see it. Oh shit. Now I may have died, but my new ally Tom did not. And apologies for the quality here. This was recorded on some software, but damn he goes off. I've fucking killed so many. Kill Double that guy, he's dead at the uh, base. Nice, good shit. 
fuck, I'm pushing it. Who cares? Let's go. He has 556 and he's... Nah, I'm dead. I didn't kill him. Fuck! Yeah. Headshot one guy. He's not dead though. Yeah, he is full fat, more full metal. He's down now. He's down. He's at that car on along the train track on the left. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, he's just like tripled me instantly. Fuck. And this is where it gets crazy because we MLRS are a big base to rate. Well, not a big base, but we MLRS a base to rate it, and then we do rate it, and we get in. And then another group comes over and LRLS is our raid to try and counter raid us. Oh my god, it's so funny. Okay. Oh, easy profit, bro. <laughs> Look at all the sofa. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god, okay. Jesus, you just pushed that. Fuck it. I downed a, a hazmat over at the rock. <laughs> he's, he's, he's blowing in! He's blowing in! No! <laughs> ah! He's coming through the wall! Get up, get up, get up there! Oh! oh. One dead, one full dead. And by the way, I was in Discord with these guys, but for some reason my computer did not record the Discord. So. One dead at the uh, waterfall, behind. Which is why periodically you can hear them talking, like coming through my headset. So I don't know. Oh, he's one shot! Oh! Ah! MP5 behind me! What? MP5 170? No way, I just missed all of those. Oh, God. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Get up the thing! Ah! Oh, you guys still up somewhere. Ow, he bolted me. He's at the he's at like the waterfall. I'm down, I'm down. I'm Hazzy. One one might be dead. I just pushed me. <sighs> and in the end, we all died. And we lost all of our guns, and we even lost the raid. Because we got overwhelmed by a group of what we think was maybe like six, even up to eight. It was kind of crazy. But yeah, honestly, the last like two, three hours I played with these guys was probably one of the most fun like things I've done in Rust in well over like a year. In terms of like PvP and action and just funny stuff. It's a shame you couldn't hear their comms, because our comms was just all over the place and it was hilarious but again thank you so much to these guys for being so accommodating so lovely to me on the island uh, you really were just lovely people so thank you for all of that really really nice guys so i hope you enjoyed the video everyone if you did please do leave a like if not a dislike if you're new around here please do consider subscribing i'd appreciate it and if you do have a moment please leave a comment it really does help the channel so so much if you leave a comment and if you like it so yeah i would super appreciate it Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next Sunday. Take it easy. Peace. I've been searching in the dark, trusting every clue I've found. But the truth has not been told. There's every corner of these woods is hollow. I can't see